Okay everyone, welcome to my magnetization tutorial on my Moyu 15x15. I've already got the uh, the first step kind of taken care of. I take off, I took off this um, yellow center cap. It's a little bit tricky, but you see there's a groove on each, on every other side. So this side has it, this side has it. Basically you got to stick in a, a screwdriver, either a flathead, or a Phillips head, kind of get it on there and kind of wiggle it out. It's kind of difficult. Make sure you your hand is covering this because it can kind of fly out. Mine flew out way off to the left and I had to go find it, so I was lucky I didn't lose it. And what I also did was I um, loosened to eight quarter turns, which is you know two full 360 degree turns, just to loosen it up a bit. And I'm probably going to start on the yellow green or the yellow orange side. Uh, I think I'll do yellow green. Uh, we're going to take out the edges. And then I'm going to take out the uh, center pieces uh, in the cleanest way possible that I can. So let's get started. The first thing I really should do is get the scotch tape here. I'm going to make sure I tape the edges so that they stay in place. I probably should have cut that in half. So I'm going to tape them like this. Make sure those two stay. And now I'm going to try and slip each of these edges out so I can get like three at a time or two at a time. Oh, I made a mess. Okay, so I didn't think that would happen, but in order to avoid what just happened, is there are a lot of centerpieces to deal with, and it's hard to figure out which one's which. Um, we're going to do the same taping thing that we did on the yellow center. So I'm going to take that up right there. I should have done a little more, but we're going to do this here. Just like that. Make sure that doesn't make too much of a mess. So these should come out a bit easier. And if you want to make it a lot easier, we should probably um, undo this yellow center. Okay, so we got that little ridge. Just gonna make sure that I can don't lose it. There we go. And we're going to loosen it eight quarter turns, just about, so, eight, all right, we're going to turn it back, and then we're going to start, um, make sure I have the caps somewhere, I'm not going to lose them, so I'll put them like, uh, I'm up here on this cube. And we're going to start taking the other center pieces out. Okay, once we have those out, uh, basically what I want to do is I want to take, um, eventually we got to get this out too, but we're going to have to take the center pieces out to do that. So what I want to do is take it out in chunks. So I want one chunk to be the 6x6. Six six. So this right here and then this chunk right here, and then you get the middle pieces here. So, um, uh, maybe I'll take this one out first. I'll measure this. Just 
by I. And then loosen it up a bit. Make sure it's all touching the tape. And I'm going to try and slide this out. Oh, got some attaching there. that one so and there it is let's put that to the side right here so I know that's the uh, bottom right and I'll have to loosen this up a bit I mean, unstick these middle ones. Just like that. And we're going to slide this one out just like we did the other one. Very carefully. And of course, I lost this one because the tape's kind of bent, but it's okay. So I got those two on the side. I'm going to take these middle pieces out too, right here, hopefully without any mess, come on, okay, okay so what I did was I loosened these another 12 quarter turns, the green and the yellow center. I took these edges out, the red, yellow ones, but I don't think it's necessary. It doesn't really help that much. It's just the corners that are in the way in these uh, center pieces here. So I want to make sure that those don't pop out and that nothing else pops out. And I can just twist this out right here. Let's see if I can do that. Now you kind of have to twist and pull this green side out a little bit. Make sure those uh, green center pieces don't just pop out which they are doing a bit, so you gotta kinda hold them. And no disaster, so that's good. I'm gonna put these red yellow edges back in, so I don't need them. Um, or I could just take them, just leave them out, it doesn't really matter. Let's keep them to the side over here. And uh, I almost forgot, I need a corner cap for a green and a yellow, so we're just going to take it out from both of these because it doesn't matter which one I take. Um, I'm going to need something to take them out with. Okay, so I got this knife here. Um, normally I use a box cutter, but I kind of lost that. I don't know where it is, so I got the knife instead. Okay, I got it. So it's like any other corner cap we have for these big cubes, it looks like. We... Okay, uh, so we're going to put this to the side. We're going to put these little corner pieces to the side for now. And I have my left side here, my right side here. All we're going to need is one half edge for right now. So I'm going to take the yellow since the yellow is on the top. I'm going to pry away. Mm, the grip is not very good, so I'm going to use the knife. I'm going to separate each one. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to show uh, taking apart the edges every time I do this because this cube in particular is a real pain to get the edges out. 
Like, even with a knife, it's difficult, so... The whole process, for some reason, they're really tight together. Okay, so the first step in this is I'm going to have a bunch of 4x1s, and I'm going to have a bunch of 4x2s. These are N52s, and the 4x1s are N35s. It just happens to be that way. Um, I'm going to take the first two, which is, I'll let you see all these, uh, a yellow corner. It's going to be facing this way, and the rightmost edge is going to be facing this way. They're going to attach like this with 4x1s on each side. So I'm going to get a 4x1 here. Okay, so I got a glue container. Uh, this happens to be a brand new one. And it's best if you get one of these small ones because they have a smaller tip that you can easily get into the um, the space. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue in there. That was a bit too much. We're going to take one of these 4x1s any which way at this point. And this is very small to deal with. So I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to try to clean up that mess a little bit. And the next one we got to make sure that it's also attracting. So I'm going to put the magnet up to the side of it, like that, so we know that the magnet has to face this way on the next one. So we're going to get the next piece, which is this one here. And I kind of want to place it right there in the edge. I'm going to grab some glue. It's going to be a little bit off-center. I'm going to take this magnet off of here, slide it in like this, and then we're going to attach them like that. And make sure that the magnets aren't sticking above the surface. Alright, so we're going to let them, well before we let them dry, I want to make sure I have the next magnet going in the right direction, so I'm going to grab another 4x2. Sorry, not another 4x2, I'm going to grab a 4x2. One of these here. I'm going to carefully let it attach to the edge right here, and it seems like we want to go that way, so I'm going to have the face we want to the right facing downward on the table. Alright. I'll leave that there to dry back there. And now we're going to do the next one. It's this one, so I'm going to have the four bytes. So the magnet's going to go on the left side. So we're going to put some glue right here towards the bottom. Remember, the side that's facing down is going to the right, so we're going to. Put it in like that. Let that sit there. Gonna get another 4x2. Gonna make sure it's going the right direction. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Get the next piece here. Put some glue on the right side on the bottom. Slide the magnet in, and they should attach. They do. And I'm going to make sure they're all the way down by pressing them in. Uh, I'm going to need something smaller. Okay, make sure they're aligned. And before I put them over there, I'm going to get the next piece. <clears throat> get another 4x2 here. I'm going to put it to the left of this whole thing. Make sure it attracts. 
I'm going to put some glue on the bottom left side of this piece. As deep as I can go. Take this magnet off here. Make sure that left side is the side facing glue. Okay, then we're going to get our next piece here. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom right. That was a lot. Get our next 4x2. I'm going to place it here so it attracts. I'm just going to make sure the mag's on the bottom and the piece we already glued. And we're going to slide it in just the way we were holding it. So we should have those two pieces done, and these two should go together. Yep, they attract. Okay, so then we can put this one over here. Now we're going to get our next piece, and our next magnet. Another 4x2. Make sure it attracts this way. I'm going to put the glue on the bottom left side, same as usual. Make sure the left side goes on the left side. Oh, we have to push that down. Uh, we're going to have to get another magnet because it doesn't want to go to the left side right now. So, there we go. Okay. The glue is a little off, so I had to move it around. Uh, we're going to keep that magnet as is right there. I'm going to grab our next piece, which is the middle piece. I'm going to be putting glue on the bottom right here. Not a lot of space to fit the uh, nozzle, but do the best we can. Slide it in. Okay, make sure they're both on the bottom. It's getting harder to get reach in there. And also make sure that we have these two attracting. Looks like we do. So I'm going to place this over here. I'm going to keep this one here. And we're going to grab our next piece, which is this one. Grab another 4x2 magnet. Make sure it's going the attracting way on the left side. You can kind of see how this goes. Bottom left side of this piece, I'm going to glue. Take the magnet. Stick it in there. Push that all the way down. Get our next magnet. Make sure it's facing the right way with this one. Grab our next piece here. Put some glue on the bottom right side. Take our magnet off of this piece. Slide it in this piece. And then they should attract. Make sure they're both on the bottom of the piece. And also make sure that these attract. They're just going to attract a little bit. given the distance that they have between each other. We're going to keep this over here. Grab our next piece. Grab our next magnet. Make sure the magnet's going the right direction, so it's going to slightly track to this one. Put the glue on the left bottom side of this piece. Like that. Take it off. Slide it in. Push it down. Grab our next magnet. Make sure it attracts. Bring the other magnet to the bottom too. Gonna leave it on there. Put some um, glue on the bottom right of this piece. After this we just have two more. Oh, I already have a magnet.
slide it in. Make sure on the bottom, looks like they both are. Make sure they attract to these two, which they do. I'm gonna bring those over here. Grab our next magnet. Make sure it attracts. There we go. Grab our next piece. I'm gonna glue the bottom left side. Take the magnet, slide it in. Looks like I already went to the bottom. Grab our next magnet. Make sure it's on the attracting side. Get some glue on the bottom right of this piece. And insert the magnet into the last piece. Push it down. And make sure these last two are both in the bottom as well. And these two, two, these two should also attract. Okay, so good. So that's the first half edge glued. We're gonna wait for this to dry. And then we'll come back and do this green half edge using these pieces. Okay, so now we're going to complete the whole edge of the green yellow edge by magnetizing the green ones. We're going to use the yellow ones to do it. So we're going to take this pair, separate it, start with this green corner here. We're going to get a 4 by one Right here, make sure you're attracting it, so like that. I'm going to put glue in the corner where the magnet's going to go. So right here. Okay, so here's a 4 by one Make sure we have it facing the right way. Okay, now we're going to slide this one in. Unfortunately, fives do not fit in this puzzle, or else I would be using fives. Alright. These aren't very strong magnets on the corners and edges, but uh, it's the best that'll fit. I'm just going to stick that all the way back here. Now we're going to do this edge here. Same process. I'm going to take a 4x1, make sure it's attracting to the corner, stick some glue here, and have it facing the right way, slot in like that. Have them attract. Oh, you don't want it to come up like that. Put your thumb over it like that so it doesn't fly out. Alright, make sure the pieces are aligned and then we're going to rest it over here. I'm going to take these next pair. I'm going to get this piece here and this piece here, so these belong next to each other like that. We have the 4x2 in this one. We're going to get a 4x2 for the green one. Make sure we have it facing in the right direction. I'm going to stick the glue on the left side of this piece. And we're going to slide the magnet in. Make sure that's at the bottom. It is align the pieces. Let them dry back here. We're gonna do this next green piece here. 
I get another 4 by 2 Make sure we have it facing the right direction. We glue the right side of this piece all the way to the bottom. Slide it in. Bring them together. And make sure that's pushed in all the way. That looks good. I'm gonna rest it over here. I'm gonna get this next pair. Grab this piece here and this green piece here. I'm going to get another 4 by 2 Have it attract. Put glue on the left side of this piece here. As far down as you can. Take that magnet right off. Slide it in the green piece. And then attach it. Make sure it's all the way at the bottom. And the two pieces are aligned. Okay, next piece here. For the green, you have the magnet on the left side. So the glue is going to be going the right side of the green piece. And we're going to slide the magnet in. Attach the pieces. Make sure they're aligned and let it dry. Next two, I'm going to grab the big center one and this little green one here. Get our next 4 by 2 I would attract to that. Glue the left side of this one. And we're going to slide this magnet right in. sure that's at the bottom which it definitely is and the line so this is a line for these two have that rest all the way back here next one is the big center green one first we're going to get a magnet we have to track to that yellow one glue the bottom right of this Hold on, I gotta make sure I got the right. Alright, this side here, so it's the smaller side, unfortunately. I'm gonna do the bottom right of that one. Get glue as far as I can in there, it's kind of difficult. Slide this magnet in. And you might have to bring the magnet up just to get some glue on it. And bring it back down. Actually, now that I think about it, in the future, we might want to see if I can fix this. We might want to have these magnets not all the way at the bottom here. I want to get my screwdriver here. Loosen it up a bit. Because they don't necessarily align when they're all the way at the bottom, so... That should be fine right there. That shows up on camera. Unfortunately, uh, things don't always get made for convenience of magnetization. So the next piece is this piece here on the yellow. And this smaller one, the green. We have the magnet on this left side, sorry, right side. And I'm going to get another magnet. Oh, if you drop a piece like I just did, um, I basically just, uh, I have the screwdriver, which of course is magnetic. And I just kind of rub it over the floor until I find the magnet, because the magnets can be hard to find because they're pretty small. Um, we're going to attach it to this. So we see it's um, facing the right direction. We're going to have this on the left side. We're going to glue the left side of this little piece. 
take the magnet, slide it in the green piece, attach to the yellow one, push it down, it's good, dry. Next one is this one here, and this yellow one here. So we got another magnet. Stick it right there. Glue the right side of this one. Slide the magnet in. There we go. Let me have this here. Uh, we want this one and this one. I'm going to get another 4x2. Attach it here. Stick glue on the left side of this piece. I don't know if I got any there. There we go. And we're going to slide the magnet in. Okay. Next one. Get another magnet. Glue the right side of this green piece here. Slide it in. Attach, push it down, make sure it's at the bottom, it's good, let it dry, try a little more space back there, grab this one here, and this one here, and these are going to go like this, so we get the magnets on the right side of the yellow piece right now. I'm going to glue the left side of this piece. There you go. Um, unfortunately, these don't perfectly align, but there's not much um, you can do. You might notice that these um, holes right here, because it's a little bit, um, what do you call it, because it's a little bit pillowed, it kind of goes at an angle, so the spaces are a little bit at an angle, so that's kind of the best we can get. But the holes, the way it's going to move anyway, it's not going to matter. Okay, so we have one more. Glue the right inside of this piece. Slide the magnet in. Push it down. And that's it for that edge. So after that first edge is dried, I think we're going to go with red yellow next, since I already have half the edge out already. And before I take out any of these center pieces or edge pieces, I'm going to do the uh, tape thing. So we're going to tape up these six pieces here, well six by six. on there right okay 
Now we're going to take these middle ones out separately. Okay, I'm going to slide these out if I can. See if I can do this. Just carefully so you keep them together. Alright. So let's just stay together. We'll put them over here. And take these out. Um, I'm probably gonna. I probably should just take out all the center pieces right now, since it makes no difference. So I'm gonna do the tape here too, and we're gonna take out these middle ones first after we get that tape in. I already took out this side here. I'm taking out this one now. Try to keep them all together, not that it matters too much. Okay. Now I'm going to slide these out. Yeah, you know what, I'll just leave that there for now. Um, Alright, next we're going to take out these red yellow edges so should be really simple except for the um, I loosen this green center up so I'm gonna turn this whole thing to the green and we're gonna turn to the right since I have some open space here make sure I hold those green ones so they don't pop out okay Looks good. Now we're going to take apart all these red yellow pieces here and start magnetizing those. Okay, I've separated all the yellow edge pieces. Now we're going to undo these, put them all together. done that. I'm going to start by putting these green finished ones with the yellow ones. Uh, but first I'm going to get uh, a couple corner pieces from this blue red yellow corner. Okay so I got those two pieces out of there. Wasn't that easy. Alright, it's these two pieces. And put that one there, put that one here. And we're going to start with this one. So we need the glue first. And you need four by one. Have it face the right direction. Slide it in the corner. And we're going to lay it out here. Okay. All 
All right, next piece. This one. And this one. So we're going to get a 4x1. Attached to the corner. Some glue on the right side of this piece. And we're going to slide it in. Make sure it looks like that. Rest it up here. Next piece is this one. And this one here. So we need a four by two. Leave it like that. Get the glue. Put in the left side, bottom of this piece. This is the same process that we were doing with the last half edge. So we're doing it twice. So we can finish an entire edge at once. Okay. Let's slide it back here. And since this is a very repetitive, I'll probably speed this part up. But I'll let you see the whole thing. Okay, once I have the red, yellow edge magnetized, we're going to be taking out the yellow blue and the yellow orange. So let's start out by taking this yellow orange edges out. And these yellow blue ones over here. And we can slide this whole thing out. Put it over to the right over here. I'm gonna take these out. And these ones out. I'm gonna take these middle ones out. So I'm going to turn this whole thing over to the green. Gonna make sure no center pieces come out right now. Okay. And turn this one over to the green. Do the same thing. Okay, I have the yellow orange in here, yellow blue here, I'm going to take those apart, I'm going to take off a yellow orange from the corners and a yellow blue from the corners and then we'll start using these two to magnetize the yellow orange and yellow blue. Once we have our yellow orange and yellow blue edges apart, we're going to use these yellow green and yellow red to do two of these at once. So this is what the edges look like after I set them up to dry and um, turns out I left them up overnight because uh, I didn't want to bother doing any more. So we're going to move on to the next step which I might move on to the blue side or it doesn't matter which side I choose but I'm going to have um, three more on the next side I choose. 
and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so I put the edges together except for the yellow blue that are back here. And we're going to put back in, uh, I'm probably going to first do the green orange. I'm sorry, yellow orange. So I'm going to put in the edge first. The middle one. See if I can get closer on that. Okay, that's good. I'm going to turn that if possible. Okay, we're going to turn it over. Okay, now I'm going to insert the yellow-green center one. Okay, so I could tape these red ones now so that doesn't happen again, but uh, I just feel like doing that later, so I'm going to try and insert this one again without making a mess. Yeah, that worked a little better. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over. And we're going to do the same thing with the yellow-red. This one might be a little harder because we already have two in there. Still shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Alright, now we're going to turn this back over. Very slowly, so I don't knock anything out. And I'm going to start putting back in these edges here. Whoops. Got the green. Okay, so let's tape these. these out. Looks like the middles are coming with it. That's fine. Alright, so I got those to the side right here. I could turn this over if I really wanted to. Um, I think first I'm going to fill this in. 
I'm going to try and slide them in. So leave that piece there. And we got that one more. There we go. Okay, now I can probably put it upside down. I'll probably put something under it. Can I use the ruler? Just want it a little bit tilted. Okay, now the other side. Might want to just insert this in instead of sliding it in. Yeah, that was a little bit easier. Could probably get away with taping these two. I just didn't bother for whatever reason. It would make this just a little bit faster. Okay, this corner. And then the last corner. Okay, very nice. Well, I'll probably just leave that tape there until the end. It's not really needed to get rid of it right now. So what I'll probably do right now is I'll tape the rest of these blue centers just so that they stay okay so I got something looking like that so I can take these whole chunks out, uh, which I probably will do right now, I think. Uh, well, first, before I do anything, I probably want to take off the cap and unscrew this just a little bit. Okay, so since I'm having such a hard time, I started taking out the um, center pieces earlier because I'm starting to scratch up this corner, I mean this uh, center cap, trying to get it out, and I don't want to scratch it up that badly, so... Okay, so I have these little pliers. There we go. And I'm going to loosen as much as I did the green one, which I think was five full turns. So here we go. Uh, that wasn't too much. I don't think it should be, though. Alright, so my next edge probably would be... I don't know what, orange? Blue-orange. So we'll take out... the orange edges. Oh yeah, and make sure you don't lose the center cap by placing it with the others I have here. And I'll probably slide it over to the yellow since the yellow already loosened up. We're going to carefully, okay, um, maybe the other way, I'm going to carefully twist the 
blue-orange center edge out. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to put this over to the side. No, wait. Um, I'm going to take out a blue and orange from here. Or I could take that blue one if I wanted, wanted to, but um, either way, I'll take a blue and orange corner cap. I'll take apart all these blue orange pieces here, and we're going to magnetize uh, the blue orange with the blue yellow I have. Okay, I have my edges separated. I have my two corner pieces off, and we're going to magnetize the blue orange now. Okay, so the blue orange edge is done drying. Now we're going to be taking out the blue white and the blue red edges. I'm going to separate them, and we're going to magnetize those. Okay, so I've done quite a few of these, taking these edges apart. It is tricky, but uh, typically when you go to each edge, you want to start with this area right here. This, the shorter ones, which is one of these shorter ones, are the hardest ones to do because they get the pegs so close to the edge. So that's the easiest part to start with. And keep working your way up. If you can stick a knife or a box cutter in and kind of wiggle it out. It should open up a bit if you get it in enough to even stick the tip in. Push it side to side. Should keep opening up towards the top. And you can get the whole thing. So I'll show you the next one too. This one's a bit easier, I think. So you can stick it more in like that. There's no peg at the bottom there. So you can stick this in, push it side to side, stick it in this space, push it side to side, or even stick in the whole thing. Just watch out for the pegs. Stick it in there. There's a peg there, so you gotta be careful. Get enough space to stick the knife in here and get the end. And it doesn't take quite as long as I, when I started. Okay, those two edges are now complete. Now it's time to put all the edges together except for the orange blue. Um, because I'm gonna move on to the orange side, we're gonna take out. Uh, the orange yellow which we've already done and use the orange yellow and the orange blue to magnetize the orange green and the orange white okay first we have three corners we can say we finished uh, sorry two corners we say we finished we can do the um, can put back on the yellow red blue and the yellow orange blue I'll slide this over because we know the yellow side is loose.
Okay, we're gonna put on these centers, center pieces. Okay, before we do the next part, I'm going to tape up these orange pieces here. Okay, we're gonna turn this over now. And you have one row of loose middle edges that we have to put in first. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. Okay, so now we're gonna take out these orange centers. So I have all the orange centers on the left, as usual, in four chunks this time. Get my pliers like last time. Makes it a little easier. And we're going to loosen it five full turns. Kind of lost track, but all right. 
We'll figure it out when we tighten everything up at the end. Um, so you got the green, orange, goes over to the right. Those are slightly attached by tape, so you have to cut that off. And the orange yellow. Uh, now let's take all these center ones out. I could use the yellow, the blue. Uh, I might have to loosen this up a bit more. Doesn't seem loose enough. Make sure those yellow pieces don't explode out, then you'll have a big mess to clean up. I'm going to move this over to the blue side. I'll probably turn it the other way. So we have an empty space to the right. And let's turn this over to the blue as well. Carefully not to knock out any of these center pieces on the top. Okay, so I got all the edges taken out. Orange, green, orange, white, orange, yellow. Uh, I need to take out uh, an orange, white, probably from these two. An orange, green from these two. I know this corner's done, so I don't have to touch it. Okay, once we've finished those orange edges, all we should have left is the green side, which has two edges, and the white, no, not the white, the uh, red side, which have one edge left. So a total of three edges. We're going to move on to the green right now, and that should be the green white and the green red we have to take out. And here's what I found the easiest way to put these center pieces back in when I have them in chunks like this. I'm going to move this over to the side a little bit. Place that right there. I'm going to get the rest of these edges. I get the next chunk, slide it in right here, and it's pretty easy from there on. Okay, now that we have those two edges out, which is green, white, green, red, that's what the cube looks like. We're going to magnetize those two, and then we'll come back. Okay, once those two edges are done, all we can do is put all these back except for the green, red, and we should just have left the green white which will be right here. You can also insert all the corner caps except for a green and a white and also of course the green and the red that goes with the green red edge. And since we only have to take this edge out right here I only had to tape these three chunks right here so we can just take these out And then all we gotta do is turn this to one of the sides I have tape on the bottom since I don't have tape on the um, white here. And then we'll take these red white edges out. Okay, the last edge, which is the red white, has been magnetized. So we're gonna put together all these edge pieces again. We're going to put back 
all the corner caps we have taken off and also these three chunks of red center pieces we're going to put back we're going to re-tighten the cube put all these centers I took out center caps back and we're going to see how the thing turned out okay you can see that I assembled all the cube together again however it's very loose and the tape needs to be stripped off first while we tighten everything uh, you can do it either way though it doesn't really matter but tape needs to come off So this is our end product after magnetizing. The uh, outer layers don't exactly catch the best, but um, of course having an index finger in the back is going to help you with that. Uh, these layers do stick very well, so when you do a turn like that, it is going to line up pretty easily. Now that one didn't, but... do line up uh, pretty consistently in my opinion. I've done a few solves on this and they line up pretty well. Um, you probably can't get away with these kind of turns, but how often are you going to use those kind of turns anyway? But the, the 4x2 seem to do pretty well. I was a little um, unsure when I did my first turns on it that it was gonna even feel like it was magnetized but it's just enough so that it does increase the speed of this cube by quite a bit I don't have to worry too much about alignment when doing inner layer turns so uh, if you enjoyed thanks for watching if you plan on doing this good luck to you and uh, I hope I helped see you later